Hi, have you heard about Bipcoin? Not Bitcoin, but Bipcoin. Bravo, India, Papa, Coin. Bipcoin is a new cryptocurrency that you can start mining today for free on ordinary computers. Unlike most altcoins, Bipcoin is not a clone of Bitcoin. Bipcoin is based on entirely new, more recent, and better code called CryptoNote. So unlike Bitcoin, Bipcoin has truly untraceable transactions, does not require specialized mining rigs, and has adaptive limits. Plus, Bipcoin is the only cryptocurrency covered by the Bipcot no government license. This allows use and reuse by anyone except governments and government agents. If you're still kicking yourself in the head for not getting in on the ground floor of Bitcoin, start mining, using, and trading Bipcoin today. Not a guarantee. Mining Bipcoin costs you nothing but the electricity to run your computer. And we already take Bipcoin for stickers and buttons. Go to Bipcoin.org. That's Bipcoin.org. Once again, that's Bravo India Papa Coin.org. The Lawbirds, that's our word, brought to you by Bipcot and Discord. Still working on a theme phone. Music by, music by Three Chain Links. And I have Steve Miller Miller with me, who who I, I, I'm told that you're going to graciously endorse uh, to Sauce as the, the number one king of uh, the Lawbirds, right? Because he won, he, he, well, he, he won the election, but not through votes, right? He didn't win the election. <laughs> You're not going to endorse uh, it was, him now. It, it was, Come it on, was, we need party unity. It was, it was, it was a rigged election right from the start. Uh, I have hacked emails from Tassos to various people on the really? Tassos. Oh, committee. you have, you have. Okay, I'm stepping down. Stepping down. All uh, right, on, take, your, take, take, take your, <laughs> take your, take your, take your '90s perm with you. People, she would. You don't understand what it was like being in Philadelphia during the Democratic National Convention. She literally could not go get a hot dog. Uh, she would be booed everywhere she went. But P Philly people love booing things. It is one of their favorite pastimes. Uh, there's this wonderful story slash YouTube video of Santa Claus being booed at an Eagles game in 1981. Uh, you you know any sort of athlete that comes here gets booed to the hilt. Uh, boo, boo, uh, and so on and so forth. Boo, because it's a it's an outer reflection of an inward condition. Uh, you know, you see you see a lot of hatred worthy things when you run around looking for things to hate. Yeah. So and and oh, Philly, Philly is uh, they kind of got that kind of New York attitude just a little bit, don't they? Don't they? Yeah, but it's it's like crappy New York little brother attitude, uh, <laughs> where it's constantly. Uh, Hey, screw you, New York! And then it's like, oh, why can't we be more like New York? Uh, why can't we get the respect New York gets? Blah 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 blah. Uh, is it you know? And they're just they're just different cities. But uh, I I want to shy away from any conversation that involves uh, cities and like comparisons thereof, because one, that's an endorsement of my borders, and two. Uh, there's nothing worse than gays talking about cities. Uh, just nothing in this world. Nothing worse. Uh, no. Like, sign me up for, like, a three-hour-long alt-right podcast in praise of Hitler before you, before I'm willing to, even once, even while drunk, even while high, uh, willing to sit down with a couple gays and listen to them talk about how, uh, I just really liked Paris a lot better than Prague because it's got X charm. <laughs> And yeah, no, like I can taste the barrel of a gun right now, just like even discussing gays and talking about cities. And they do this a lot because uh, it's a way of like signaling how much you travel and how worldly you are and so forth. And it's travel signaling, right? Travel signaling. OK. Uh, adven adventure signaling. And uh, then they. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's absolutely awful. I hearing them discuss the private lives of pop stars like they personally know them is fantastic by comparison and i used to think that was the worst thing on the planet uh yeah you want to hear some awful conversations go to a gay bar i mean really go to any bar uh because it's going to be a lot of like <laughs> empty sports talk and like discussion of weather what have you but god you go to a you go to a gay bar and listen to the conversation and yeah you will you, the hearing will envy the deaf is is it, is it a lot of talk about Bernie? Please tell no, me. No, there's 
there's not you have to understand people in philadelphia have zero faith in politics because if electing democrats uh solved anything this place would be well heck the gays are heck that see one tour of the mormon temple and i'm start i started exclaiming the word heck uh <laughs> But but yeah, that would be the paramount city the gays compared it to. If Democrats, if electing Democrats made your city great, but tragically, uh, that's there's it seems to be a little more complicated than that. And uh, in Philly, it's generally racism that is the uh, full on explainer. Like if only we didn't have so many X people, or you know, if only X group was better, then Y would happen. But uh, it's never anyone's personal fault that the city's absolutely awful. Like people urinating on the street will be like, why is there so much litter? Uh, so yeah. And there's never one, th there's one thing I never understand about liberals. Like, and I didn't understand this when I was a liberal too. It's like, we, we, anytime someone talks about succession, even if it's like a state like Mississippi or Texas, it's always, that's racist. That's, that's slavery. They're just going back to the old, they're just neo Confederates. And then when they stop talking about it, we go back to the bars and we talk about, man, wouldn't it be great if just Texas just left and stopped voting de Republican and ruining everything? It's like you can't have it both ways, but we do. Well, we did. I was a liberal. I'm not anymore. But that was that was kind of like the, the mentality. And it just that cognitive dissonance just never really sank, sank in, sunk in, sank in, sank, sank, it's tank. sanka. It never, it never that's sank a, that's how you in. That's how you went over in. the old liberals. You, you feed them Sanka. Okay. It never you, sunk the in. The reason I was, the reason I was a gay Republican for a while was because I is that uh, a log cabin with, Republican? It's, it's almost like a pun. It is exactly a log cabin okay. Republican. It was because the log cabin Republicans had an event right before a ghost tour that I was giving one night, and is that some uh, sort of gay thing? Ghost. No, there's a there's a okay. Phil, g g ghost tour dot com. Uh, if you want to take a look, uh, we'll show you the entire ghost tour that I provide. But uh, the gays had this party one night. It was a, it was like a some cr some crappy city council candidate was like there shaking shaking limp wristed gay hands <laughs> and uh, kissing <laughs> gay AIDS babies or whatever. And uh, they have this party and. It became a game of statistics, whether I was going to be a Democrat or Republican. And there was one key component that the Republicans had won for a long time after that day. And that was the number 14, because 14 was the amount of free drinks the Republicans gave me at this party before they cut me off. And zero was the number of drinks that the gay Democrats had purchased me ever. Although is, that, is that a 14 did, words through reference when they were doing that? or Yes, it was what <laughs> they 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 said one of the 14 words every time i went to go get another beer they're like we must glug glug create glug glug whatever the fuck it is yeah uh yeah i don't i don't have the 14 words committed to memory let alone tattoo so it would be a great insurance policy for prison though having a bunch of white supremacist tattoos <laughs> think about it uh you're like all right you know what i don't really hate the blacks all that much but by golly if i get this tattoo whatever accidentally get thrown in prison I've got protection. Yeah. You know, you get insurance against the worst things you fear. And in Kensington, getting thrown in jail is a lot more likely a scenario than your house burning down. Okay. So I Googled it. It's uh, we, we must secure a homeland for the libertarian race and the future for libertarian children. And it was a quote from Carla Garrick. That's what the 14 words are. We must secure for, we must secure a homeland for the libertarian race and the future for the libertarian children. Carla Garrick, president of the free state project. Oh, well, was, I think I think she said he, those he words. He got kicked out for making a fourteen words. Job. Oh, he excuse me. Um, did you ask what her gender was? <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay. She... Did Z get thrown out for making <laughs> Z's own fourteen words, John? No, that was a uh, that's a mere anti-statism. <laughs> or, di or or did or or did Z quit John self? Yeah, she she quit. John, John, oh God! I should tell people that I'm trans phillied and that my preferred pronoun is John. There you go. There you go. Yep. Because if it were both, you a heard John, it here, folks. If, <laughs> see, I said if it were both a John, if it were both a pronoun and also every single noun that people say in this town, that would be really funny. Yeah, but I guess Carly Garrick stepped down, and then after she stepped down, that's when all the the really terrible. It was already bad. It was already bad, but now it's like even worse. That's when the they started kicking. Already out. not free, and yeah. Then it was less free, and then they were like, oh, "Okay, let's uh, let's let in uh, all the uh, these statist 
people like uh, what is it, the uh, the C four SS people, which whatever. Uh, that's bad. a poison gas, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's poison gas. But uh, and then they're also letting the co- cocks in. But yeah, whatever. Again, and then. On top of that, then they're like, okay, we're going to kick out Ian now that he's got us 20,000 signers. <laughs> Bye. Which actually, technically, they don't. I signed up for it. They had a stipulation in there that if they didn't get that 20,000 signers by X date, which they didn't, then nope. it's done. And that, that you and know. And then clauses just fell away. And then it was like, oh, what what date? I don't remember. I don't know what you're talking about. What date? Date? There was no date. It was, you would sign up. You're good to go. And this was in 2007. I think like there is no Statue of Liberty. I don't think there's any kind of libertarian, libertarian. statue, no statue of, Liber- of Libertarian. Yeah, <laughs> Libertarian <laughs> Statue of Libertations. Blah, blah. Um, without without Libertarians, who would advoc- who, who would who would oppose the Statue of Liberty? Exactly. So I was like, nope. Uh, I got there's my out. I don't have to deal with snow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, liberty, liberty above all, but not, but not weather. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean, I don't know. It just seems kind of lame. Yeah, uh, never had, re- never really had an interest in going. I'll tell you what, though, if they had made a twenty thousand signatures wrap when they got to the twenty thousand signature mark, I would honestly consider it. Like, especially if they were like making it rain signatures, uh, like just had a stack of people signed free state project petitions, and then just. Making it rain like in a rap video. Yeah, uh, twenty thousand signatures, twenty thousand signatures. Uh, not ten thousand, not fifteen thousand. <laughs> Bitch, we got twenty thousand signatures. We move in, move in. What yeah. have you? I, I think. Uh, I think. Mon- like I, a st- I'm not a rap producer. I'm a Bitcoin miner, Jim. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, I I might have been a little bit more willing to go if it was a state like wyoming or man, montana nah montana's really cold today. idaho i'd go to <laughs> well no i'd pimp um yeah i, I would this it's too cold man and i i was i was all revved revved up ready to go i was revving up them them fryers and vroom, vroom. and i moved to kansas for a little bit and i was like oh, okay i'll deal with that and then i deal with one winter and i'm like nope i am out of here i cannot deal with snow i cannot live with snow i like visiting snow don't you can sass me winter and then yeah that was kansas you know that's just you know miles south of of, of where all that is so it's a lot warmer and I could not handle that, so I decided to move to the desert where it's sweltering hot most of the time, and then and then it gets freezing cold during the winters. Sometimes it snows, but it's it's a rarity. A, I have a, I have a rival podcast, I guess not rival, but fellow podcast uh, called the Passive Aggressive Hour, which is the most popular podcast in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and <laughs> in Sioux Falls, it apparently goes absolutely insane and uh people from the passive aggressive hour in sioux falls produce tara uh mayor gunthard uh all you folks uh bless your grind bless yeah. your Walbert grind should you, should, you, should, you, should you be listening to this for some reason like a lulberts get a lot of attention I, every time i go on facebook or post something on facebook from the lulberts page i always get a thing on there saying hey this thing was popular in pennsylvania and <laughs> It's 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 seventy five percent more popular in the state of Pennsylvania than than the previous post, and it's like, why is it always Pennsylvania? Is is, is Jim Bab like sitting there? You and Jim Bab like sitting there like mining that? We for got like that hits? clout. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, we're whales on the steam it that is <laughs> Facebook, the Pennsylvania Steambook. Okay. The Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Steambook. Oh man, that sounds like the crappiest pro sports franchise of all time. <laughs> What do you do? I'm a power forward for the Pennsylvania Steam Book. Yep. Awful. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know what what the deal is. I, I mean, there's you, and I know Paul Gordon may listen, but I, and Bab. I, He's not I, in Pennsylvania, I don't think. Yeah, he is. is I he? mail him stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he's in Pennsylvania. Can confirm. Not doxing what exact city he's in, but yeah, PA is where the state that I mail stuff to him. You know, unless oh, unless he's knew? mailing it to someone who's then mailing it forward. You know, so that I can't really dox him. It's, this is this is specifically why <laughs> the undoxable Paul Gordon. He's like, I knew it. Now he's doxing that's, me that's on like, his it's, podcast. It's, it's like the unsinkable Molly Brown, but every song is about Facebook. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was involved in two DDoS attacks, and I survived in both. Yep. 
Well, there, there were, it was only popular in Pennsylvania, the, the DDoS. Oh, uh, God, you got to branch out. You can't just be like running.